welcome this is continuation of the previous two lectures so today we are on the third of matrices in the previous two lecture we have studied how a characteristic equation of a matrix look like how to find the eigen values and eigen vectors of a matrices and some basic properties of uh, eigen value equations the lambdas and determinant and trace now today uh, i will start with a problem this problem was asked in JNU 2014th year. So this was asked in JNU 2014 related to these all above topics. And the question was the eigenvalues of the following matrix A, the matrix was given to be 2, minus 1, minus 3, minus 1, 1, 2 and minus 3, 2, 3. So this was the matrix given and lambda i's are the eigenvalues of this matrix and you have to find lambda 1 square plus lambda 2 square plus lambda 3 square. In the previous lecture we have concluded let us have the solution. In the previous lecture we have seen that if matrix A has an eigenvalue lambda then the matrix A square will have the like eigenvalue of lambda square. So <clears throat> lambda, these are nothing but the sum of eigenvalue of matrix A square. <clears throat> and the sum of eigenvalues of matrix is nothing but trace. So this is trace of a square so basically we have to find the trace of matrix a square so trace is the sum of the diagonal of all the diagonal elements so a square is 2 minus 1 minus 3 let us write it first minus 3 2 3 this is 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 1 2 minus 3 2 3 so if you multiply this matrix i just need the diagonal element so i am just writing the diagonal element so this will be 4 plus 1 plus 9 and there will be something this and this and there will be 1 plus 1 plus 4 and this will be something this this and there will be 9 plus 4 plus 9 because I have this 3 cross 3 matrix and I just have to find the trace of the matrix. So from here the trace of a square is equal to 9 1 10 this is 13 plus 6 plus 1822. So this is 28. Sorry, this is not 13. This will be 9, 1, 10. This is 14. So trace is 42. And this is nothing but lambda 1 is square plus lambda 2 is square plus lambda 3 is square. See, you it just hardly take one or two minutes to just solve the problem. If you know this property that <clears throat> if A has an eigenvalue lambda, then A square has an eigenvalue of lambda square. So this was the problem which was asked in JNU examination. If I just uh, let us have one more question on the same problem. Suppose the question was asked to find lambda 1, lambda 2 plus lambda 2, lambda 3 plus lambda 3, lambda 1. What is this? What will be this equal to? Okay. So trace of a square we have seen it is 42 and now let us calculate the trace of a that is 2 plus 1 plus 3 that is 6. Okay, the trace of a is 6. Now come back to this question where the product of lambda i's are to be asked. So and, and the matrix is same and trace of a was 6 and trace of a square was 42. We know one equation that is, uh, let we have in another form in algebra, you have seen this before also. So it was a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus bc and ca. Let a, b, c are the lambda i's, then this equation also holds true that is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 whole square is equal to lambda 1 square plus lambda 2 square plus lambda 3 square plus twice of lambda 1 lambda 2 plus lambda 2 lambda 3 plus lambda 3 lambda 1 okay this is nothing but the trace of matrix a and this is nothing but 
the trace of matrix a square so your lambda 1 lambda 2 plus lambda 2 lambda 3 plus lambda 3 lambda 1 is equal to trace of a whole square minus trace of a square divided by 2 so this is trace of a 6 this is 3 6 square this is 36 minus 42 by 2 this is minus 6 by 2 that is minus 3 so the product of the eigenvalues is the sum of the product of two alternate eigenvalues is minus 3 so basically the first part was the problem of JNU and second I have to study it myself so this might be asked to find the product of lambda 1 into lambda 2 and this one. now let's see one more problem on this property on properties based problem so next question is a matrix A that is 2 cross 2 matrix has an eigenvalue of e raised to power iota pi by 5 and e raised to power i pi by 6. Then the smallest number n says that a raised to power n is equal to identity. So let us solve it by step by step. A is your 2 cross 2 matrices having lambda 1 is equal to e raised to power i pi by 5 and lambda 2 that is e raised to power i pi by 6 that is the eigenvalue of this matrix A. Now the question is asked a raised to power n is equal to identity and we have to find n such that n is the smallest number. What power how many times we multiply a matrix A such that it gives you the identity matrix. Identity matrix is nothing but 1 0 0 1 and the only information what we have is the eigenvalue. So from here we will use the property of the eigenvalues where we have seen that the determinant of an matrix A is given by the product of the eigenvalues. So I am using from here. So determinant of A raised to power n is equal to determinant of identity. Okay. So determinant of A raised to power 1 is equal to product of eigenvalues of matrix a square this is the product sorry a not square this is a raised to power n so we first we have to find the eigenvalues of matrix a raised to power n then we productive and the product of uh, the determinant of identity is nothing but one so if the matrix A has an eigenvalue lambda 1 and lambda 2 then you know that A raised to power n has an eigenvalue of lambda raised to power n and lambda raised to power 2. Now the question is solved. So you just have to calculate it. See I am just calculating it C till n because there is one funny thing uh, which will which is waiting for you all. So let me write as lambda A that is that is the eigenvalue of a raised to power n that is e raised to that is you can write it as lambda 1 raised to power n this is e raised to power i n pi by 5 and lambda b is equal to lambda 2 raised to power n that is e raised to power i n pi by 6. Now the determinant of a raised to power n is equal to e raised to lambda a into lambda b that is lambda a into lambda b this is nothing but e raised to power n pi 1 by 5 plus 1 by 6 this is e raised to power minus 11 n pi sorry plus 11 n pi by 30 now you have a problem that e raised to power iota 11 n pi by 60 is your 1. Now how to uh, you know how to just uh, verify these equations that what is the value of n from this equation. So you should remember these things because they will come again and again in your uh, when you solve the problem. So remember this it is not and just to fact to remember but is it good to remember e raised to power i this is iota 2m pi is equal to 1 see 
e raised to power i theta is given by cos theta plus iota sin theta from class 12 complex number you can know that so if there is an even integer multiple of pi then this equation will always will will become one so here m is equal to 0 1 2 and so go on and the second thing which you should remember that e raised to power i 2m plus 1 pi this is equal to minus so you can write this equation is at e raised to power i 2m times pi now you can uh, that was the funny thing or you can rewrite your equation as m is equal to 11n by 60 because you have to find the value of m see m m can be anything here m can be 0 1 2 3 4 till this so now we have to wisely write the value of n see if n is equal to 60 then m is equal to 11 if n is equal to 120 and m should be an integer you must remember m should be an integer so if n is equal to 120 then m is equal to 22 if n is equal to 180 then m is equal to 33 so these are the value various possible values so that m must be an integer so from here you can see that n is equal to 60 is the minimum number required that if if you multiply that matrix a 60 times then you will get the only the identity so from here i am writing the answer here so answer is n is equal to 60 see 120 180 and plus 60 all will satisfy this equation but for minimum value this is n is equal to 60 will satisfy this equation now i am going to have a tricky question so this question will help you analyze various of the question because most some of the times uh, this question this type of question may be asked so i will i have I, i have to explain one concept so i will explain by an example and then state that what that concept was suppose i have a matrix 1 2 3 2 4 6 and this is 3 6 9 can you see i am just stating the column this is column 1 this is column 2 and this is column 3 can you see that column 2 is twice of column 1 and column 3 is thrice of column 1 and what if i have find the trace then lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 is nothing but 1 plus this is the this is the trace of a suppose this matrix is a so this will be the sum of the diagonal element 1 plus 4 plus 9 this is 14 now i have to find the eigen values now the question is to find the eigen value so without solving how would you find this eigen value so that that trick if you know and, and this condition will satisfy that the columns are in, in this case the rows are also a multiple of the r1 r2 and r3 are also a multiple of r1 but if the columns are multiple of some like the second and third and fourth and everything if there is n cross and matrix and if such happens that the columns are a multiple and are not linearly independent then how to find the eigen value in a tricky way that can, that will not take you too much time so i will just state it okay i am going to write it so this is the statement of this problem solution so if any row or column is a multiple of other rows or columns then the eigen values are zero eigen values are zero except one has the value trace of one see i have let us from from the above equation if i say that if lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 3 are the eigen value of equation a and there is a condition that columns are a multiple of another column so what i from this concept what you can see that all the eigen values of zero except one has the value trace of zero so this is zero this is zero and this value has trace of a so the solution of this matrix is that lambda 1 is equal to 0 lambda 2 is equal to 0 and lambda 3 is equal to your 14 so 
if something happens that if in some in some matrices if it happens that columns or rows are multiple of other columns or rows then write all the eigen values of zero and at least one eigen value look only one not at least one eigen value will be the trace of this matrix so i am rewriting all this phrase and let us say one more example on this so i just rearrange that words consider a square matrix a having rows and columns which are scalar multiple of a particular row and column respectively then the eigen values are trace of a and all the eigen values are zero so one of the question it was asked in isc exam so in isc one of the exam the question was asked the matrix was so this was the matrix the, the matrix was given and you are supposed to find the eigen values of this matrix so here you can see the row 2 second row is in combination of row 1 into a2 by a1 you can see it from here and r3 the row 3 is a combination of r1 a3 times of a1 so r1 that is row and a2 by a1 are just the scaling factors so that contributes the second and third law so from the above uh, equation we can find out that one equation one eigen value of this matrix will be a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square and other two eigen values are equal and they are zero so see it hardly takes me 5 to 10 seconds to just uh, see the matrix and just write the equation so it will you can see this type of problem in many of the textbooks or uh, you will when you will solving the different uh, exams papers so at that time you will find this concept very useful so this was all about the matrices eigen values and eigen vectors and some basic properties so in the next lecture we will be considering the various types of matrices that is symmetric skew symmetric hermitian orthogonal unitary and all that type of matrix and we will find how the matrix are defined and what are their basic properties okay okay thank you